One of the things that can't be stressed enough about playing the five string banjo in Scrug style is the right hand. Um, you, could, you could almost say that the right hand is all the instrument. What, what we're really playing is a drum. This is a drum that has strings on it that can play, play tones. All of the energy that you send from the string when you strike the string is sent down through the bridge into this sound chamber, which is essentially a drum. I mean, it looks like a snare drum, right? So how you hit these strings is, is absolutely critical. The, the natural tendency when you start playing this instrument is for the hand to go back to this relaxed state like this. When you do this, you'll notice that when I pick at a string, the string is coming at sort of a 45 degree angle to the, or the pick is coming at a 45 degree angle to the string, and it makes this sawing sliding sound. It doesn't make a, a, a precise, crisp sound, which is what we want. So what I'm going to do to achieve that is to kind of screw my hand around so that the spade of the pick is pointed straight down at the head, and I'm not throwing my fingers at the strings, I'm placing them on the string and then pulling. Just like pulling the trigger on a gun. So if I do a forward roll, notice that all three of my picks are already loaded on the string. And as I go through, the next finger is ready to go on that string. This prevents this. which will never produce a crisp tone or sharp tone. You want a, 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 it should sound like a balloon popping. How you wear your picks is critical too. Most people don't have as much spade hanging off as I do. This is just the way I learned and it works for me. Most people bend their, their picks around closer to the contour of the tip of the finger. But the goal, the whole goal is just simply to get the, the flat part of the pick, the spade part of the pick, absolutely flat on the string and pull. And if you want a good model to look at to uh, posture your right hand, just look at any uh, shot of J.D. Crow's right hand. He's sometimes referred to as a claw. His, his posture is very upright. His hand is far off the head. I play with mine a little flatter to the head. But whatever, whatever it takes, all hands are different. Everybody's hands are different. Whatever it takes to get those picks flat against the string, sharp popping sound. Also another uh, mistake that uh, new players make is playing too far away from the bridge. There will be times when you want this sound up here when you're vamping. But when you're playing that bluegrassy bright stuff you want a, song, uh, a tone down here about two inches from the bridge. This is the sweet spot on this banjo, about two inches from the bridge. If I get farther away and do that, it doesn't sound like bluegrass. So about two inches away from the bridge, get the spade of the pick flat on the strings, and pull, don't throw.